Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking Websites, where I share my favorite web design tools that I use to build websites all the time. And on this episode, I will show you my absolute favorite Chrome extensions that I reach for all the time. So let's just uh, jump in. The first one is Wappalizer, which is an extension that shows you what any website was made from at least from how much information you can gather. This is the extension. So let's say I'm on my daily inspiration scroll <laughs> on awards, on awards sites of the day. Um, and I like, you don't know, I like this website. And I think, oh, those are some interesting things. How, how was it made? I opened the site. And, oh, you can see it already has detected something. Let's click on the extension and here we go. We can see whatever the extension can gather. This is the content management system, which I actually don't know. Um, and yeah, let's say, for example, I have uh, some sites built with WP Bakery here. So let's say it's a WordPress site, for example. It will show obviously as the content management system, WordPress, then the page builder, WP Bakery. And uh, for WordPress sites, you can also see some other plugins that they've used. For example, Yoast SEO for SEO, which is very cool. Other plugins that they might've used. So an interesting insight into websites. Maybe sometimes you can see what kind of uh, software they used. What's the content management system if you want to try and replicate any site or any of the things that's on it. So that is very cool. The next extension is image get, which literally scans the page for images and allows you to download those images. Yes, there are many ways you can download images from a page, but this is just quicker and easier. And that's what I'm always looking for. So for example, let's go to any of the pages we opened before. This is the extension and let's see. And here we go. It has offered and found some of the images on this page. So you can just download them. Um, if we go to this site, more images. So if you like a background image or something, um, this is great for logos as well. You can, it, it might find one if you need it. For example, if you make like I do for this video, I have to look for all the logos usually for these uh, products. So this is a nice way to get access to all the images if you need to quickly and easily. So the next is extension might be my most used extension at all ever. The whole idea, <laughs> maybe because it's so simple. It's Colorzilla, which is essentially a color picker. To open one of the sites we had before, click on pick color from page and bloop, you have your color. It's so simple, but yet I reach for it all the time. Um, so the extension by default um, copied the hex code on your clipboard. But another great thing you can do here is if you click on the color picker, picker pen, then you can see the newest color, the last color that you picked, and you can see the RGB code, HSL as well. So depending on uh, what you need, might not always be the same thing. If you write some CSS, sometimes you might want to adjust the HSL or RGB, depends. So this is also helpful because you can't always use the hex code and you don't even need to go to any of those um, online color code convert things. So this is incredibly easy um, and super helpful, trust me. Okay, next extension is what font. In one of the first, one of the early episodes of Cooking Websites, um, I already showed you a... Uh, it was a website that helps you identify a font from a picture and then it offers alternatives that were tries to show which might be that font. But this is a little different. 
it is more straightforward. Let me show you. We're opening up a page here. And this is the icon right here. Now we're in the what font mode. And now when you hover over any piece of text, it will just show you what font it is. So, and if you click on it, you can see more information like the color, weight, line height, anything of that sort. So in this case, it doesn't offer you any alternatives or any like where to download that specific font. But at the same time, if you need to, you can just Google Open Sans download, Open Sans alternatives or whatever. And then you will probably also get to the same uh, page where we were in the previous episodes. The difference here is you don't have to upload an image. You don't have to do anything at all. You just have to click on the icon and see the font. So I really find it helpful um, to check to see, get inspiration and... Uh, and yeah, and when you wanna and when you wanna leave, click on the exit with the font and you're back on your regular page. So last but not least is another small extension, but so helpful <laughs> when you start using it. It's the lot of ipsum generator. Um these days I, I tend to generate any placeholders with AI a lot, but if I don't, obviously, I reach for Lorem Ipsum. And as with a lot of these extensions, it's not like you can't go and Google Lorem Ipsum and copy and paste. But if you can have it right here and you can access it quicker, I think it's good to have these tools on hand because we all want to be more efficient, do less Googling around. And uh, yeah, let me just show you more of what the tool actually offers. Okay, let me show you an almost real case of how we might lose it. Um, let me, I'm in WordPress, I'm creating a website. I'm creating a new page. Let's open the front end editor. Okay, I'm going to add, okay, let's say I've just created this design and I see there's exactly this much text. Let's imagine there is no text, actually. <laughs> there's just that much space that we need to fill. Then I go to the generator. I say one paragraph. That was too much. I say 60 words. That looks nice. No, that I need less. 50 words. 40 words. And now I copy and paste that. And I have a better idea of how much text I copy. I didn't even show you that well to you. So you can choose how many paragraphs you need in that particular text, how many words, bytes, and you can also create list which is great i love it and i use it all the time when i don't use ai sometimes you know how sometimes if you generate text with ai it's not that strict with how many words you can put in there so this is helpful i use the the words option the most and also i don't know if it's weird if you guys don't do it but for some reason if i go to like if i google Lorem Ipsum, and then I just copy like a selection, I feel like it's not a finished sentence. And that makes me feel weird inside. <laughs> so this feels like it probably has a actual sentence that, uh, that means something and it's not caught. Is that, is that weird? <laughs> And that is it, my friends. These are the extensions that I use all the time. I love that there are these little quick things that just, you know, these things add up. And uh, yeah, I hope you try some of these. And uh, maybe if you already use any of these, let me know. I would love to know which ones. And yeah, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.